So I decided that's enough moping around. I thought I decided to um, come back up to the studio and get some work done. Don't look at the carpet. The carpet is terrible. I've been cutting cards um, for Chloe. The um, finished ones are on the left. No, sorry, finished ones are on the right and the ones I have to work on are on the left, but I can't show you in detail because, well, I'd like Chloe to see them first. And I'm not allowed to carry anything heavy at the moment, so taking the old Hoover up here is out of the question. But anyway, I was thinking about our new art challenge, Blue, and while well, I've been working on a map here, and um, here I can show you maybe a little bit more. I was, it's, um, it's a map, it's a British map, and uh, it's got this Hadlow Down and Mayfield. I'm not exactly sure, except it's very close to the coast, sort of south England. And um, then I was thinking of, you know, putting chickadees on it. And I thought, well, I shouldn't be putting chickadees on it because it's a British map. And I've already started to paint some lindens here. These are my, my lindens are not doing very well, but it doesn't matter. I can get the general sort of idea of what the plant looks like. And so I just sketched out some chickadees, not chickadees, blue tits. So I thought blue tits sitting on the branches would be kind of cool. And so I just got a, a whole bunch of different positions. And I'm going to work on that. But yesterday I was so frustrated with myself and frustrated with my life and actually feeling very, very blue. So I just got, I got some sludge, and this is sludge, and I got some acrylic paints. I grabbed a handful, literally grabbed a handful of paints and put them beside this canvas. And, uh, and then I thought, okay, well, what do I do? So I grabbed the sludge and I squished it on. Here, I'll prop it up like this and you can see it better. I squished it on and then I got, well, red and blue and black, wouldn't you know it? Sludge is a bit green, and, and I just made a mess. And then I stuck it outside and left it in the rain. So there you are, the beginning of my blue painting, my blue period. Kind of like Picasso, yeah, I'm in good company. So I might just go put some makeup on so I look decent and get my butt up here on the studio. What have I got here? Markers. Markers are good. I'm going to mark it all up. I'm going to have some fun. Okay, and I'll see you in a bit. Hi. So, I want you to know something. I've boiled the same pot of tea three times now. Literally, I went down to the kitchen um, to get get some water. This is my, this is my container of water, not to be confused with my... Um, mug of tea. Uh, I think it started life as some kind of a pop bottle, I don't know, but I've been using it for years and years. So I went down there to get that and then I forgot the brushes, so I went downstairs to get the brushes and I went downstairs for a more thing. Oh yeah, yeah, the phone. I forgot the phone. I want the phone up here with me. And each time I boiled the same uh, pot of water, I'm actually going to go make a cup of tea <laughs> and try to remember to go down there and make a cup of tea. And I haven't, it's here, it is already one o'clock, you know, and I haven't even put a mark on this canvas yet. All right, I'm gonna get my tea. I'll be right back. Yes, I got my tea. I've also put the canvas down on the table. I don't really care about this table. It's, it's, a, a, it's an old scrubby table that I've decided I'm just gonna use for cutting on and painting on and what have you, but I don't know why I'm even using these newspapers. What are these newspapers? It was something I brought home from Heathrow, actually, at Christmas time. I'm not even sure. So let's see, what have we got here? We've got a marker. What does this look like to you guys? To me, it looks like um, a swamp, a morass. And that's exactly what I felt like. Now that the sun is shining, it's not so morassy feeling, but I still think we're going to swamp it up. What do you think? Some reeds coming out like this and then reflecting reeds down here. 
and um, more reeds come out over like that and make it really heavier in this mass in here and then lighter as it goes down. Um, put the water about there. Yeah, I think I like that. And I'm gonna do an underpainting with acrylic. Oh, with acrylic. Oh my god! Oh, there it is. Um, I like this unbleached titanium. That is one of my favorite things to play with. Brush, brushy brush. Nope. Ah, I like this one. I've got so many brushes around. I don't even know why I've got so many brushes around, but I like them. And uh, I don't really use a palette. I suppose I could. Oh, tea. Glasses, tea. Mm. I suppose I um, could use a palette. I usually use this Tupperware container. How weird is that? But uh, what have we got here? Cobalt. Oh, ultramarine. I oh, like ultramarine. Oh, it's gonna be one of these days, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, now I know why people fast forward videos because this is the most frustrating thing about painting. So I'm gonna get more ultramarine happening. So I like ultramarine, I like titanium white. Well, let's just start there, shall we? Where do I want to have some of that lightness? Maybe sort of in here. ensemble I have on the sweater uh, yeah <laughs> I'll tell you what though it used to belong to my father it's my late father's and it's cashmere and it is the most comfortable thing that I own Chloe steals it every once in a while every time she can I actually offered it to her for Japan but she left it behind for me I think that I will pretty much destroy this sweater before I take it off. I think it'll be, you know, it'll it'll sort of die a natural death on my body. <laughs> well, now we're looking a little bit happier and a little bit less gloomified. I think I want to bring this titanium all the way down into here. There. And now, if you will excuse me for a minute while I close these things up so I can never do them up again, I will dry this off with the hair dryer and get my oils. So a little bit of repositioning. I've pulled out my aunt's French easel because it's just easier to paint in oils standing up. And um, I have this, there's, here's my oils. Um, here, I'll, I'll turn this. Here's my oils right there in that box. And there are all the brushes behind it, and the painting, and a temporary. Um, get this brighter. Oh my goodness, this this cannon. There we go. Um, I really like to use these temporary uh, palette papers because I just tend to chuck them out. And I've had to open the windows because um, oils, and that means builders next door. And you've got some funky Bollywood happening next door. But I've turned on Pumpkin Spice Latte, so I'll listen to that, and hopefully we'll all listen to that. So, um, okay, what do I want? Um, thinners, liquid, 
Maybe I want a bigger one. Do I want the bigger one? Well, I'll start off with this one, then if I want the bigger one, I'll get the bigger one. I'll stick the thinners over here. Yep, there go the builders. And um, what do we got here? Titanium white. Sounds good to me. Is this tedious, guys? Should I just, just squish out the oils and come back later? I'll see. If it's terrible, then I'll, um, I'll do that. I'll cut this part out. I'm not very good at making this, you know, at this vlog business yet. But everybody has to start somewhere, right? Rosiana. Sorry, that was black. And I'm still going for a swamp. Oh my god. Swamp thing. So I'll see how far I get with a limited palette. I'm just thinking on my feet. Ooh, purple. Ultramarine violet. I like that. Um, I'm not really thinking about this at all, to tell you the truth. Raw umber. Oh god, this one's seen better days, huh? Okay, let's see if I can even open it. Yes, I can. Good. I'll get some pieces of plastic falling all over the place. You know, one day, someone's going to make these caps that are not fragile plastic things, and that person is going to probably win a Nobel Peace Prize from artists. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This started off life as, you know, as that. And there's still a lot of paint in this tube. Um, yeah, I don't know. My replacement thing. Oh, red. I really like this one. What is this? I see the name. Carmine, of course. That's a good one. And Red Earth, and I love all those kinds of colors. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't pay much attention to it. And this is one of my favorite ones. Naples Yellow. And we're going to stick that in there somewhere, too. I think we got the makings of a pretty good swamp here on this palette. I think I might just start that way. Paper. Uh, Towel. Maybe towel is better. Towel. Ooh. Liquid. This is a sort of a medium that I can use to make the paints flow a little bit better. And I think that I'm going to have to readjust, readjust my easel because, yep, it's crooked. It's just going to make the liquid run downhill. So excuse me for one tiny second while I straight this bad boy out. There we go. Okay. What do I want? Big brush. Big, big, big brush. No, I don't want a big brush. Medium size brush. Medium size. Nah, that's too much work. See, I get lazy, you guys, especially if I'm doing something for fun, like an art challenge. It's like, oh, I like this song. Chloe sang this for me. How much I love you. Lily and Madeline, Sea of Love. Well, well, what do you know? Oh, look at that lovely color going on here.
you guys listen to the station? It's Google Play. Pumpkin Spice Latte State of Mind. I really, really like it. Chloe turned me on to it. Chloe said, Mom, you're going to like this. And she was right. I do. Let's get some lights in here. That's what I'm, I can see the grass will be sort of blowing in this pattern out there. Like that. And then it'll be lumped up in here. Oh, so much fun. And coming down like that. There we go, like that. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put this one down. Put it down behind, behind me. And grab a bit smaller one. I want this one wet, I do want it a little bit wet with thinner sand. Oh, okay, now that I've made a total mess of this palette, where are we going to start? Oh, and I just remembered I didn't put any blue on it. Okay, well, let's see. Um, so I think what I want is I want to carry on some of this yellowy blue around here. quite a bit because it's from thinking that you know the sky is sort of reflecting on this pond so it's not all doom and gloom just only some of it <laughs> only some days only when your cat has blown her knee out and your plastic surgeon tells you you can't lift anything or go to yoga for yet another 20 days while we wait something out yeah, that's when, that's when there's no sky. But apart from that, there's sky. Actually, who am I kidding? There's always sky, isn't there? It's always a bright spot. Morgan, by the way, is um, a brand new cat with those painkillers. I hate to say because, you know, I, I hate drugs. And here I myself are, am on painkillers and also have been on some sleeping pills to help me sleep through the pain and um, you know it's still far from my ethos I, I absolutely hate it but you do what you have to do right when you have to sort of um, get through something you just do what you have to do to survive or actually not even to survive but um, to get as much sleep as you possibly can, as much rest as you possibly can to, to heal as well as you can. I think that's, that's the ticket. Well, there we go. 